guys, this is Ariel Oliveira with Olive Tech, and I'm here today showing you guys how to create this Google check-in form. Um, I got a lot of feedback about wondering how to make this, so I was just going to go through the rundown um, of how to create your own form. Currently, my school is using this as attendance in Google Classroom because we're doing remote learning. Um, so how it works is you get the link, you post it in Google Classroom, your students fill out the form, and you know who's here, and it goes directly to a spreadsheet that's timestamped so you can see the day and the time that they checked in. Um, before all of this, I use this in my classroom every day. I would have students check in, um, and what they would do is they would fill out their email address, they would enter their class number, and they would tell me how they're feeling today. Um, I incorporated my Bitmoji into here, um, they got a, quite a laugh out of it, but this kind of just helped me establish communication with them, but like discreetly. So if a student ever told me that they were struggling but they needed a check-in, that would be a red flag for me to follow up with that student. So I would meet with them privately and before school, after school, during a lunch period, or pull them out of a class for a few minutes, just kind of make sure they were okay, ask them what's going on. Um, this way, I understood their academic progress. A lot of the times it also helped me if a child was sick or if they were tired or if they were struggling but they had support um, to kind of determine, okay, maybe this is why they didn't work so hard in their assignment today. Maybe this is why they're missing something um, because they weren't feeling well or they were tired or whatever it may be. But it was kind of like a way for me to check in with my students um, but in a discreet way where they felt comfortable and it helped me to determine their quality of work. So it is definitely a great tool to have. Um, so the first thing that you guys are going to do is you're gonna open up a new tab. And in your new tab, you are going to go to forms.google.com. All right, once you get to forms.google.com, you're going to click blank, All right? We're gonna start a new form. We can title this form daily attendance if that's what you guys would like to use it for but you can make it whatever it may be maybe it's math attendance or mrs smith's um attendance whatever you guys would like um in the form description i guess i would just instruct your students um on what you wanted them to do so instructions please answer all the questions below to confirm your attendance in class today okay now I'm gonna start with my first question which for me I had the students put in their email address for school um, you don't have to do that I did that because in my technology class they just get emails new emails in sixth grade so um, the repetitiveness of typing them in helped them to remember them um, but you guys can just do first if it's easier first and last name and over here it automatically went to short answer which yes you can leave it as a short answer you want to mark all of these questions required so that this way if a student misses a question um, or if they don't fill it out before it submits to you when they click submit it'll flag them and it'll tell them hey you didn't complete this question you could want to make sure they're answering all fields of the question so i'm actually now just going to duplicate so if i push this little rectangle thing it'll duplicate the exact question from the previous so it's already set to required it's already on a short answer and i'm going to ask my students to fill in a class number um i have 18 classes so I have students fill in their numbers so I know what class they're in. Um, maybe this is something you won't use, maybe you have one class and you don't need to worry about this. Um, but this is just an idea if you guys need to do this just to break down um, your form as well. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up to where it says add and add another question. This one I'm going to keep as multiple choice and I'm going to ask, how are you feeling today? Okay, so right now we have an option one here. Now if you click it, you'll see all the way to the right there's an image. So what you're going to do now, I use my Bitmojis in my form. Okay, I know I showed you guys before, but I pulled Bitmojis. Um, you don't have to do this. I did it because it motivated my kids. They liked the fact that I had Bitmoji, made them laugh. Um, but what you can do is maybe you want to do something for your content area. I mean, I teach technology, so for me, I'll do... I'm going to open up Google 
and I'm gonna do Lego Happy Face. There we go, because I teach Lego Robotics and they're really into that. Um, I'm just gonna go to Tools, and my usage rights, labeled for reuse. Okay, so I'm gonna select this guy, save my image, happy Lego, and I'll save it to my desktop for now. And we'll do another one, maybe we'll do Lego sad face. And I'm going to save this image as well, and we'll do Lego sad face. Okay, so you could do as many images as you want. Right now, I'm just gonna do two. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my daily attendance form um, and I'm going to add an image here. Now I'm gonna browse, or actually I can even drag it directly from, there we go, from my desktop. Now, I'm gonna say happy for this one, okay. Now I'm gonna add another option sad I need a check-in and this is where I'll drag in my sad face okay there we go it took a few seconds great okay so they have the option to check either of these now remember you always want to make sure that you click required um, so this way the student is able to answer them without missing them. So double check, make sure all of my stuff is required. Good. All right. So if you want to change it up, um, to make it a little bit more customizable to what you want in terms of your class, like you could change your header. There's all these different headers or you could upload your own. I know I uploaded my own, but for time purposes, I'm just going to pick one. So if I insert. A header you'll see it comes up here at the top and it automatically changes the colors but if you want to change the colors to something else you have the option here as well you could change the font there's not too many options um, I like playful I feel like formal is nice basic is basic decorative is just I don't know how many kids would necessarily be able to read this very clearly all the time um, but I like playful so I'm gonna keep it a playful now when you're done what you can do is you're going to hit send. If you're posting this into Google Classroom, you're going to go to where it says like this little link. You're going to click here. You're going to copy your link. Now I'm going to go into my Google Classroom. Don't mind the overwhelming amount of classes that I have. Um, this one's a test Google Classroom, so I'll do it in here. So I'm going to go to Classwork and I'm going to hit Create. And I'm going to do Assignment and I'm going to type Check In. I'm gonna hit add link and this is where I'm gonna paste my link for the check-in and then I'm gonna hit assign now I didn't give it a due date or anything but if you want to go back in and you can say it's due today right now that's fine save um, if you create a topic and make it attendance that's fine so now when your students go in and they click this is what they're gonna see and they'll be able to check happy or sad. Um, if you want to preview what your attendance will look like before you send it out, you can hit the little I right here on the top and that will give you the option. If you wanna share this attendance page with other people, if you go down and you hit send, I believe it's send, you can hit add collaborators and this is where you can share with whomever you'd like. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope that this is useful to you guys, especially during this remote learning time. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask or leave a comment. All right. Good luck.